Hello everybody and welcome back to Stacia Expert Mode. And in this episode, we set up our oil refinery to set, sort it all into tanks and then use the diesel it produces to power a diesel generator. We also upgrade our blast furnace. So, I hope you enjoy. Okay, so today we are going to be continuing immersive engineering with the oil digging that we have been doing and turning it into fuel to power a generator. So, what we need to do is of course get ourselves some pipes and I did go ahead and actually gather all the ingredients we're going to need now today because we're going to be doing a few things. We're going to be setting up the distillation tower to be able to make our... Uh, let me just show you here. So we turn the crude oil that we're mining up using our pump jack and we'll turn that into either lubricant, sulf sulfurized diesel, or gasoline. Now, the, ga the, the diesel is what we're going to be putting into a diesel generator. And we're going to be making one of them. Because I think one produces 4,000 FE a tick. Um, so, we don't need to worry about... And we're not using any other machines that require a huge amount of power at the moment. So, one diesel generator should keep us going over until we d decide to make ourselves like a bigger reactor. Or upgrade... To maybe another diesel generator. It depends on what other power sources now it will ask us to make now in the future. So from there, with the extra power that we're going to be generating, I do want to improve my blast furnace because I do want to start making buildings and start decorating areas. So if we could take a trip over here to where we have our pump jack at the moment, um, it has filled up all the mechanism tanks and I was looking at what tanks I could make at the moment that would be a lot bigger to start storing more. Um, and I came up with the jumbo tank. I was going to make a mechanism dynamic tank, but uh, it turns out I actually needed, what's it called, a, a circuit board? A circuit to be able to make the valves. So, until I make myself an, um, uh, what's that thing called? A metallurgic infuser, I will not be able to make the dynamic tank. Which is fine, it's fine. Because this thing here holds 1,024 buckets, where each one of these only hold 14 buckets. And it's filled up about 331 buckets at the moment. So this thing's got a quite a bit of oil inside it. Like way more than just these uh, tanks here. But I did kind of clear back the grass a bit here. Because uh, we're going to be fencing this whole area off. I'm going to make this like my power generating area over here. So what I want to do is probably raise... Oh, wrong block. I want to raise this up a bit here. Because then we're going to wall it off in steel fencing. Um, that way it'll look like it's an actual power grid and we should not touch it. Um, so that's what I want to do here. And they re it requires a lot of steel to make the steel fence. So that's why I want to set up the improved blast furnace now as well. If I can sign set it up maybe outside my house and then before next episode, I'll have some sort of a building built. I'm still trying to come up with designs in my head and in creative. So once I got a decent design, I'll go ahead and build it and hopefully it will be able to house everything that we're going to be now doing in the future. Of course, we're going to have multiple factory buildings for each different mod, but I definitely want to have something to start with, especially for immersive engineering. So what we need to do is deal with skeletons underneath us. Uh, I probably should have slept before I came back over here. Uh, but we need to make ourselves a distillation tower. And of course, in this book, I was looking at the diesel generator. If we go down to, where is it? Oil processing and distillation tower. Here's what we need to do. We need to build this structure right here. And that's what it looks like now. So we need to build this guy. And he's pretty simple to build. He's just quite tall is all. And I do have everything in my backpack here. So this is everything we need. So let's get to work and start building this now. So we have a look in the book. The first level is go all the way back down. So, from my experience of building this thing in the past, I didn't record it, but I have built this thing before. I think the fuel goes in here and then comes out up here. And then items come out on one of the sides right here. So, if I want to, I should probably build it facing this way. So that we'll be able to pump the oil straight into it here and then have it pumped out this way. But then again, I kind of want it the other way because I want to put my diesel generator right there. And if possible, we'll have space for a second one right here then, if I can space them out evenly. So, maybe I should set up the distillation tower in the front right here. And then route the gas over there. Would that be better? 
because eventually I, we're not going to be able to have enough oil here. So I definitely want to set up a sustainable renewable version of it, which is biodiesel, which means we have to set up a massive potato farm and industrial hemp farm because we're going to have to set up like if I show you here bio biodiesel. Yeah, here it is. So biodiesel requires a refinery. This is going to require ethanol and seed oil. Now, ethanol comes from an industrial fermenter of potatoes. And I think potatoes gives the most. So this one gives 80 for a potato, 20 for melon, and like 80 for an apple. So apples aren't that easy to get a hold of. And sugarcane I want to hold on to. So potatoes are probably the best one to get us because you can get upwards of like, how many potatoes per crop? You can have upwards of one to four per harvest. So we have a chance of getting four potatoes for each ethanol. So we have a better chance of using potatoes. I think I said potatoes about 100 times already now. I'm going to stop. But let's get to work on making this distillation tower. So the first thing we're going to have to do is if we want the fuel pumping in this way, we're going to have to build it for facing this way now. All right, get rid of him. And let's see. So the bottom is a four by four. And on the bottom left side here is going to be a heavy machine frame block. All right, let's just build ourselves a frame. And if it's a four by four, it's not going to have a center point. So, oops. Okay, maybe I should go to sleep. Yeah, I'll go, I'm going to quickly sleep. All right, so what's up now? Um, that's a zombie with a backpack on. How much health have you got? Normal amount. You still have got some sort of resistance. And now we got another skeleton. Oh my god, can I get a break, please? There we go. Damn. Right, so if we come back up here. And so this scaffolding, if we're going to say... We'll do it like this. So it's going to be four... That's five. Uh, I actually cut it here. Uh, so then four out this way and then fill out the frame like this. Okay. And then I said these two break here. Um, and then we need to break the one here. Okay. So now it wants us to get the heavy machine frames right here. And then the fluid pipe right there. And then the redstone block right there. Then the iron sheet metal will have to run the whole way up. So that there, and then... Okay, so we have to go up how many blocks of iron? So one, two, three, four, and then put a ring on the top of it. So one, two, three, four. I got this out of my hand. Then we need to get this steel scaffolding and then run it around. There we are. And then at the back here, we need to remove the left side one here. And then build it back up with scaffolding. And then we need to break this one here. And then build it up with pipe. Okay. And then once we got to there. we just I think we have to go up. Oh my god. This rotation thing is so annoying. There we go. So then we have to go up another one, two, three, four, And then do the same thing again. So let me do that. There we are. And then one, two, three, four, And then five, six, seven. Okay, so we just go up four more, and then the rest is whatever. So one, two, three, and four. Build it up. All right, so this is the last one. So we need to go up three. There we go. And this should be the full thing built now. Hopefully. So it says we need to use a hammer on the redstone engineering block down here. So let's jump off. Catch ourselves on the ladder. Right-click this somewhere. Maybe I've done something wrong. Uh, it's possible. Did I actually do this right? You know, you know me, I probably did something wrong. Oh, I forgot a pipe on the side right here. So now if I right click it. That could Hello? Nope, that is not it. Okay, never mind. I did place that in the right place. Yes, I did. Okay, um... I figured out what was wrong and why it wasn't constructing. I built it wrong. I am an idiot. I misread the book and I accidentally put the scaffolding here when it was meant to go here. So if I right click this now, it constructs. So I built this thing completely wrong uh, by mistake. Um, but now we know it works. Oh, wait, hang on. Uh, okay, so it comes out here and it goes in. Wait. 
No, okay, I think this is the butamin out, or bitumen. Uh, I actually can't remember which one it makes. I think it's bitumen. It makes a byproduct of bitumen, and I think it pumps the fuels out of here. And then it's... You input uh, the oil right here. Usually red is indicating for in, and then blue is usually indicating out. Yeah, so you can see here in and then out. So, what we need to do then is hook up a pipe right here. And we're going to set this guy up to extract. Now, did I forget my... I did forget my wrench. Uh, all right, let me go get the stuff I need now to actually continue. All right, I think I have everything now. I've got myself my pipe wrench. So, I can now set this thing to extract. No? Oh, wait, no, it's this export. Oh, wait, no, please don't tell me I imported here. Have I built this machine backwards? Oh, uh, I think I did. It's not the worst thing, but it's not facing the right way I want it to. I would like it to face so the oil or the, the gasoline or diesel comes out this side, and then I can run the pipes over to um to fuel it that way. I mean, there's another way I can do it because I do need to store the lubricant and gasoline that comes out of it where I'm only going to be using the diesel for the generator. So I could work on making some of the immersive engineering's tanks. Uh, they're nice big tanks here. So if I search, like, go back to the main page and type in here tank. We've got these big structures here. Like, these guys, they only hold 512 buckets of any fluid, which isn't really that much considering that, like, this tank here holds over a thousand of them. So, I don't necessarily know whether or not to go with just these guys and just lay them out here. But I think these tanks would look so much cooler just being out here. And I think you input the top and then output the bottom. I think that's how it works. So, if I had the fuel coming out here, I could have the tanks laid up here. And then just have the, the pipes come out, run up, across, and then up, and across, and down the top. And then have them pumping out into the respectable machines. But it doesn't look like I'm going to do it that way. So... Oh, wait, it doesn't even... Wait, don't tell me this is the item output. Oh, this might be the item output, and this is the fluid output. Or is this the fluid input? Maybe all the hope isn't lost. I just need to rotate this machine 90 degrees. And then I can input there, and then output here. Right, I'm actually going to rotate this machine. Give me two seconds. Okay, so the machine's now rotated, so hopefully this will work. I know it's not exactly centered, but if I extract this out... Okay, so the crude oil is now filling. And then I'll be able to run the pipes out here. And since the, the tanks that we're going to be building here, I think are three by three. Yes, they are. That means if there is space here, we just need to build these up this way and then give them a block gap. So if it comes here, then it'll be a block gap here. And then... Uh, I'm out of pipe, but we'll figure it out now in a second when we build them. We just need to go get ourselves a ton of treated wood fence and iron sheet metal, and then we should be able to build it. So, to give this thing power now, power has to be plugged in right here. Now, I went ahead and got myself some basic universal cable from Mechanism, thinking that this might be a good idea, and hopefully it will. Can I just run this across like this? Uh, not necessarily. I think the fence is getting in the way. But I think I can connect it right here. And this is facing the east. So... West, no, other side, east. I want this to get set up to exporting power. And this will start charging this guy. And I think once he reaches a certain uh, power level, it generates a bit. I saw the, f the crude oil go down. But where did the, the oil go? Unless it's technically not generating enough uh, to actually make any. Well, anyway, while it's trying to work... Let's go get ourselves a ton of the iron sheet metal, treated wood fence, and see if we can make a bunch of these tanks. And then pump all the gasoline over, or the diesel, into a generator once we build it. Oh, wait. I just came back over here and I somehow picked up a bitumen. So, I'm guessing that means this is throwing out the bitumen here. So, it must have produced some. Okay, it's produced a bit of gasoline. Okay, that's cool. So, I went ahead and made myself all the treated wood and stuff I need. So, I think it said to do it like this. Put one down. And then I think you build like a, an empty hollow frame. I didn't actually look at it. Yeah, I'm just, this is what I'm thinking I do. 
Uh, yeah, you build it up three and it's hollow. Oh, wait, no, you build up four and you cap it. Okay, so you build up three and then four and then the fourth layer is the cap. So you build it up this tall. And then you build up one more and you cap it here. And then I should be able to right click with the hammer. And there we go, a big tank. And I'm hoping I just pump it in the top is where I put it. And uh, let's get up to here so I can actually see. It's cool how this thing acts as a ladder then. So let's see, does this work as a... Oh, I think I actually need a little bit more of this pipe. Yeah, I, I'm like one short. Uh, okay, I need to go get more pipes. And while I'm actually going back to my house, let me quickly sleep. All right, so I've gone ahead and got myself some pipe. And I actually went ahead and made ourselves an oak drawer. So I'm going to put the oak drawer right there. And I'm going to put the bitumen in here. And I'm going to add a void and an upgrade to it. That way, I can... Okay, I think there's the glitch where if you hold shift and right click it, you actually pick it up. Um, if you're really close to it. So I need to make sure I right, shift right click it from a distance so it doesn't pick it up. But now it's got gold upgrades in here. So it's eight times increased in storage. And if it fills up, it will devoid the rest. And actually what this stuff is used for is we can make it into asphalt concrete. And then when you walk on this thing, it actually increases your speed by 20%. So we might end up using some of this bitumen now in the future to make asphalt in between all of our buildings to industrialize the place like it's roads. And you can also put it in a coker and it will turn it into sulfurized uh, diesel as well if you combine it with some water. And it gives you some peat coke and the peat coke can be just used as fuel uh, or inside a blast furnace so it's technically all useful. So if we come back over to this guy, uh, I can't climb this thing can I? No I can't so there's no real exact way to easily get up on top of it without having to climb up the side of this tank. So hopefully this means this tank will start filling up with um, either the gasoline. Can I access this thing? Does this thing have an inventory? I actually don't know. Um, but this guy definitely does. So we've got gasoline, lubricant. Okay, so we do this. Which one comes out first? It is not telling me. How do I know? Am I just going to have to slap a label on this thing and just say, oh, this is this? Well, it's easy to kind of tell that it, it's the gasoline that went in. So the next one is going to be, I guess, the lubricant. Since that's, no, it's the diesel. Okay. So the diesel is going to go next to it here. So let's build that one now. So one block gap and we build it out four. Or build four, but it's a two by or a three by three. So that there and then, oops. We build it up. Here we are. Now we just right click this here. Turn it into that one. And now we just fill this guy up. There we go. So this guy is filling up with the gasoline. It's got one bucket of gasoline. Not gasoline. I keep calling it gasoline. It's diesel. Um, is there a thing in immersive engineering that lets me see what's inside it? Is there like some sort of like special goggles I can put on? Uh, I think there was. Or maybe there is. Uh, I don't see anything in here that tells me. So I'm actually kind of concerned now. Say, if this thing runs out, uh, or if this thing runs out of diesel, does that mean it's going to fill with lubricant? Since the lubricant's going to be the next one I'm going to build right here? Um, I don't actually know. And if it does, I'm kind of worried then. Because that's not what I want. And I don't know if I can filter. Actually, I think I can add a filtered input. Can I put a filtered input on these pipes? I know you can have a filtered output, but can I have a filtered input? I actually don't know. If you have a better solution of what I can do here to make sure this thing always fills with gasoline and not lubricant, because this guy's always going to fill with gasoline. This guy's one I want filled with diesel, and the last one I want filled with um, lubricant. So if you have an idea how I can manage to achieve that, then I that'd be greatly appreciated. Uh, for, but for now, I'll just have to do it this way, and we'll just have to roll with it, and if anything happens, well, then I'll just have to fix it manually. Alright, so the last one is built, and let's go ahead and now connect this pipe up. I actually probably need more pipe. I definitely do. Right. You know what? Actually, while we're over here, because we're going to start running out of time now, I need to actually probably pick up all the coke oven stuff, or the, the blast furnace stuff, and... Start making all the components for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and grab this. Because I need to upgrade all this into steel. So if I break this all 
and then come over here and then you press use on it i combine it with steel sheets to make it into a reinforced brick and then i make it into this uh, improved one but then i also need to add on these preheaters so preheaters are induction heaters which are hmm Okay, that's actually not that difficult. So I'm going to go ahead and make all the things. I just need two preheaters. And then we'll go over and build our diesel generator. And we should be able to hook up our blast furnace to that. And we should be good. All right, so I've got my pipe now. And I've got all the stuff we need now to make the improved blast furnace. And now all we have to do now is build the diesel generator. And we should be good to go. So once I have this thing here connected, we, this thing should fill up with the lubricant. Hopefully and is it everything's gone so you got five buckets one and that okay so hopefully this guy doesn't fill with lubricant now maybe I, technically i probably should have put gasoline at the end here maybe that way i could stop it from overflowing into it so gasoline is the one being used but it's always going to be the last one filled that way this one will be gasoline lubricant diesel Maybe I should have done that way. Does this thing retain its inventory when broken? And that's what I would like to know. Uh, I don't necessarily want to waste it, though. So, you know, I'll figure it out in between episodes. And if you have any suggestions on how we can improve this, let me know down in the comments. But it's time to make ourselves our diesel generator. The whole reason for this episode and why we have this set up here. So I'm just looking at the improved blast furnace because we actually need a hopper on top for it to work. But anyway, so heavy machinery, not heavy. We want power, go to diesel generator, and there we go. So fuel is going to go into two sides where the pipes are, here and here. And actually, no, I think it goes on the sides here. Either way, we want it facing towards us like this. So we can run the pipe underground into the bottom if we want, or we could have it run down along the side, preferably along the bottom and then come up underneath either side of it, because I'm nearly sure it goes here. Uh, right, so what we need to do is we need to build a frame at the back of a tree by tree wall of radiators. So let's start by doing that here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. And then what we need to do is come forward on six scaffolding on either side. So one, two, three, one, two, three, and then run pipes up the middle. Okay, and then we want generator blocks, because we want one of these here, and then generator blocks are going to go like this. And I think the rest is just heavy machine blocks, except for one redstone block right there. And let's just double check how does this work. Uh, it requires an X pattern on the top, like so. There we are, and is that everything? I think so. So all it tells us now is to right-click the front, I, of course, left my hammer behind. I, I'm making the wireless access remote now next episode. I realized something that we could do. Um, uh, we needed sea lanterns. I may have found a way to get some sea lanterns. There's one right there. Yes, the astral sorcery little sky temple things. There is a bunch of them around here. Like, there's one at my house there's one north of my house there's another one in the forest over here one to the left of the forest there's another one over here they're everywhere and because they're everywhere we could easily just go traveling to each one break the prism uh, the sea lantern and we'll get back some crystals and prismarine so that way we'd actually be able to make enough sea lanterns to make ourselves the wireless access remote and save ourselves a lot of trouble Okay, so yeah, so power or fuel goes in here and in here, then power comes out the top. Now, I would use the, the low voltage connectors, but the only issue with those are... Wait. Why didn't this connect? I think I had an issue. I think it only connects once it starts making power. So I need to actually run this cable over like that. And I don't know if it'll input and output power. Hopefully it does. If not, we're going to have to figure something else out. Maybe I need to replace, change the orientation of this. Maybe run it across the opposite side. But we'll soon see. So let's get ourselves our pipe and start running it. I want to run it down the middle here now. So um, come down an extra one. 
and it exclusively only comes out the bottom. So this is going to go up there and this is going to come across over here. Okay, now this might immediately turn on. No. All the fuel went in. I think it actually does need a lever to start. Okay, let's hope that this lever makes the thing start. If not, we're going to run into more problems. No. Why isn't this running? Please don't tell me we're going to run into more issues now and I'm going to have to spend the next few hours trying to get it to work. It probably seems like that. Okay, I remember thinking back to when I'd done it in Valhalsia and I realized it actually does require the HV wire connectors on top. So oh, I probably should have made myself a relay then as well. Um, but what I need to do is over here, I need to put that there and I'm going to set this to storing power. And then on this side, I'm going to have it set to extract power. Uh, so the opposite side west. I'm going to run this cable back over to here. There we go. And hopefully, if I connect this HV wire from here to here. Yep, yeah, okay, so the redstone signal stops it. So let's turn it off for a second, and I'm pretty sure if I touch this... Oh wait, all the power is being stored in here, so... Yes, so it did need HV wire connectors. So apparently, this machine cannot connect to the universal cable. So I'm going to go get myself a relay and then we should be able to continue and set up this improved blast furnace. We're starting to run out of time very, very quickly now. We're probably even cutting it fine as it is right now. I need to stop talking. All right, so this is what we need to do. We need to come up here, break this guy again, and we'll put him back down. Now, uh, I want to break this pole. Let's break him quickly. And now what I want to do is grab this wooden pole and connect it to here. Then I'm going to get my HV relay. And hopefully I can connect a low voltage wire to this. Cannot connect wire here. Okay. That will just have to store power on its own for now. But I'm going to connect each one of these to this relay. <laughs> okay. okay. Well then. There goes 73 levels. Wow. Well, that's a quick fast travel home because I did forget to grab the cable. Yikes. So, I guess lev lesson... Oh, God. Give me back this. Lesson of the day. Don't touch live wires. It's not fun and very painful. Another creeper. How many creepers are there? Well, at least the area is protected. Thank God. Um, yeah, so this thing is not filling up with power. Technically, because the generator is not turned on at the moment. Turn this on. Very loud. But you can see we are now generating more power than we're actually using. Uh, too bad we don't have the, the muffler mod in here. So we can't turn this down. But maybe I can turn it down in here. Maybe some blocks. Yeah, okay. The block sounds. Let me just turn those down fairly low. And maybe in the future we may be able to make some mufflers. And use that to kind of quiet the thing down. But now, let's get to work on making ourselves the, um, the improved blast furnace. We need to kind of pick up the pace now. Where? Why won't this go on? Oh, there we go. Right, so we're going to build it right here. Uh, simple enough. So we just need to do three by three blocks. Like that. And then put a hopper on top. And grab our... Where did my hammer go? I left the hammer behind. All right, I've got my hammer now, so right-click this, and then we'll just get our preheaters on... Oh, so I have to face the right way. So preheater one goes here, and preheater goes there. Preheaters left and right, it says they're not on. But now we can get our cable here, let me just build up a bit. It's kind of weird having not that much sound now. Items usually can go in the top there, so... No. Why is it facing the wrong way? There we go, I want to build it out like this. And then just connect the wire. That way, now these things will get powered. Am I correct? No. Oh, we're after using up all our power. 
That's because this guy's now got lubricant in it, doesn't he? Right. Um, so this is an issue. Yeah, right. I'm gonna have to fix this in between episodes, but at least now we got this whole setup here going and we know it works. So I'm gonna end it there. Hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. Hope to see you in the next episode. So without further ado, goodbye.